In this video, we'll look at the Dungeon Architect Launchpad window. Now in the toolbar, we have a Dungeon Architect button. And if you click this button, it is going to launch the Launchpad window where it allows you to browse through the different samples that are bundled with the plugin. So here we have the different samples and you also have builder, builder templates. A builder is a method for generation, generation of a dungeon and each builder generates a different type of a dungeon. So these templates allow you to create a scene pre-configured with these builders. So you can clone any of these scenes and uh, start working on it. You also have uh, templates for uh, the flow graphs. The flow graphs are help you design the the flow of your dungeon, and these are some templates that you can use as a starting point. And then you have the theme templates. Uh, themes allow you to change the look and feel of your dungeons, and these are some some of the starting point templates that you can use. So clicking any of these, you can just clone this. And uh, so, for example, I'm going to clone it and then choose a folder. And once that is done, it, it clones it and opens up the opens up that theme in the theme editor, and you can go ahead and modify this. And then you have access to the different documentations, the support channels, and so on. So let's clone a sample. So for example, let's choose. Let's go ahead and clone this. So what this would do is it's going to clone the, the entire scene along with any referenced assets. And it's also going to open up any of the uh, relevant editors. So here it has opened up the, uh, the grid flow editor and the, there is a pre-configured uh, dungeon flow grid flow asset so we're going to use this in this scene file just simply go ahead and hit play so this is a complete sample of a game with uh, with minimap so there's a minimap on the top right corner there is uh, there's a key lock system and quite a lot more so you can browse through all of these samples from the uh, from this launchpad window, and if there is a uh, if there are any dependencies, some for example, some of the some of the uh, samples require you to download a certain dependency, usually an art asset from the marketplace. So this is the free Infinity Blade art asset, and if you were to click on this, this will open up the browser and take you there, so you can download that asset into your browser into your project so these green buttons are for the dependencies and if there is a if there's a video uh, you can you can click this button to launch the uh, the video so you can reach me in different through different channels we have an active discord community uh, you can post your questions over here or on support forums or you can just send me an email.